Hello everyone. Today we have Dipayan Sinha with us, who would be joining I Am Bangalore uh, on Monday, coming Monday. So we'll listen from Dipayan how he aced CAT and how he cracked I Am Bangalore. So Dipayan, welcome to uh, Dipayan, welcome to MindWorks. How is the feeling? Thank you, sir. I am very happy and very proud to be joining this illustrious institute. Great, great. Glad to know that. So, Dipayan, tell us about uh, your profile and uh, your preparation process. Yes, sir. So, I am actually a general engineering male category student. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started preparing for CAT first time in 2019. Mm -hmm. And I have actually written CAT three times. So, this was my third attempt. So, in the first two attempts, like I did not get call from any of the top IMs. And okay. uh, so this time I had uh, a bit of extra work experience to support my uh, backing, which mm -hmm. actually allowed me to get a call from IIM Bangalore and all most all the IIMs starting from below IIM Bangalore, except for Ahmedabad and Calcutta. So I got call from all these IIMs and I got, I wrote ZAT exam and I mm -hmm. got call from XLRI. So okay. an IFT as well. So my preparation started quite early on. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I used to like, uh, I actually first time I contacted Arun Sharma sir itself and I asked him like, how should I go about the preparation? So okay. he suggested to like buy his books and just uh, at least start doing, solving the questions from his books. So that's how my preparation actually started out. And, okay. uh, and after that, like, uh, like the preparation kind of continued. So solving questions, repeating all the questions once, twice, solving mocks, analyzing mocks, getting some mentorship advice. So these were the general steps and uh, ultimately like all these helped me. So I see from the, uh, I contacted my team members and they told me that you had started preparation from June 2020, right? Yes, yes. So so it's been a, I mean, a marathon journey for you for the CAT 21. So how did you maintain your momentum? I mean, the motivation and momentum for one, one and a half years. No, I didn't have to do a lot of effort to maintain the motivation because mm -hmm. uh, like I was originally also, I was trying to get into one of the top IMs. So that goal was always there. And um, yes. I had actually written CAT and I had come very close once and I thought I could definitely do better. Mm -hmm. And I, had, I, I the only problems that I was facing was that I was not able to perform my best in the examination. So okay. I knew that my preparation, there was, there was nothing lacking in it. Only the mental composure to keep in the examination was something that was not my real strength. And mm -hmm. uh, I had to like work on that mostly because rest of the things happen easily, like the preparation part. Right. And you are working also, right? During this period, you were into a full-time job. Yes, yes. I was in a full-time job. So from morning to evening, it was like uh, kind of work from home. But yeah, like I used to focus on work till, till entire, like morning, nine o'clock, evening, six, seven o'clock. And after okay. that, like whatever little bit time I had, I used to prepare. But towards like during my last year of preparation, I didn't have to do so much because the general concepts were already there. So only I had to focus on mocks, which I used to do in the weekends. Mm -hmm. But uh, remaining preparation had actually happened a year back itself. Okay, nice. So uh, tell us when you were uh, maybe uh, towards the last, how much, uh, how many hours per, per day were you putting in? Because you had a nine to six job as you are saying. So yeah. people who are working, how should they balance out? I mean, how many hours of effort they should put in? And what was your strategy? Were you a morning person studying in the morning or after office hours? No, no. In morning, I had no time to do all that. So uh, morning, I used to work and till evening, I used to work. Yeah. So uh, actual preparation was hours, let's say daily, you can say two to two hours, two and a half hours daily. That used to be the preparation. But the real preparation used to happen in the weekends. In the weekends, okay. let, let's say on a Saturday, I used to write one mock. So it will take three, two hours to actually write one mock. And analysis okay. of that mock only used to take time. So that used to be the major goal of weekend. The general preparation was just solving questions. So that you can actually do anytime whenever you're free. Right, right, right. And uh, so when you were analyzing mock, your focus was on analysis of mocks. So for a two hour paper, how many hours were you putting in for analysis? Like roughly, 
yeah. so roughly mock you take the same amount of time like if you okay. write a 2 hour mock so it will take 2 hours to actually analyze the mock because mm-hmm. whatever questions you have got right you generally don't look at those but whichever ones you didn't know or which you think you could have got right those are the ones you put more focus on right so how did mindwalls help you in this uh, entire cat preparation process i used to attend like some of the video lectures that uh, i was an like actually i was an uh, st- online online distance learning program student so right. i used to attend the video lectures and whenever there was some mentorship class i used to attend and uh, generally like if there was any doubts i used to ask on the telegram group and that's how most of the journey happened that's right right okay so tell us something about your interview process which all uh, calls did you have and uh, how did you prepare for the interview I had actually Bangalore, Lucknow, Shillong, Indore, and uh, along with that, all the new IIMs. Mm-hmm. And uh, besides that, I had SPJ, IIT Bombay, as well as uh, Accelerate. So these okay. were all the interviews that were scheduled for me. And the preparation and you, for all these, you I gave all these. I gave all these interviews. Okay. So, How did so, you prepare? my main preparation was uh, like i used to uh, like i used to focus mainly on academics because mm-hmm. that's like the most important part of the interview that they are going to grill you on your subject matter knowledge so right. i went back through my entire college notes like whatever i had with me which were left mm-hmm. still left with me i went through those and four four to five subjects the important ones like data structures algorithms computer networks so uh, mm-hmm. operating system so these are the subjects which i actually went through in good detail mm-hmm. and uh, the, because th- these are the core computer science subjects and that's what generally everyone focuses on others okay. uh, i didn't have time to prepare other subjects then aside from this i i uh, spent some time like looking at the current affairs so for that i i basically read the hindu newspaper for mm-hmm. two months like in depth i used to read the newspaper front to back and besides this the third thing that i did was to research more about my company like where i work so mm-hmm. whatever uh, insights like you can draw from your company's annual report where the company is heading competition what work i do and so something related to that i studied so these are the three things i generally focused on okay fine so how did arun sir's mentorship help you in this journey no like i once or twice like i used to call him so i mm-hmm. asked him like how how do i go about the interview process so he also like basically said the same things like mm-hmm. if you have been good all through your studies throughout your engineering class 12 so interview should not be a problem because you will have some amount of basic knowledge the concepts will be there with you but you need to revise them frequently current affairs you don't know what they are going to ask you but again good to know whatever recent happenings are there and just go over them it it ultimately depends on what the interviewer wants to ask you you cannot you can only like try to direct them towards such questions how much ever you can but it's up to them finally what they are going right. to ask and you cannot predict much so basically yeah, you have to you be you cannot predict so your introduction has to be like very strong like whatever introduction you give and you should leave sufficient hooks in the interview so that they can catch on to that and they'll ask you questions relevant to that otherwise it will just go randomly in any direction very true very true so any uh, out of the box question any peculiar question you faced among these interviews which you gave anything which you were you were stumped no no i don't think like anyone asked me such questions for a, maybe okay. i am lucknow i am lucknow interviews were very random so they okay. just asked anything they wanted like they like, asked me to they, when i entered the first thing they asked me is to design some secure uh, books book website for their uh, library so that was like some out of the blue question like i never expected no introduction nothing just simply start by designing a website and like they basically were looking at some blockchain based answer which i did not give them because mm-hmm. the next question they asked me about was blockchain where where can you use blockchain what is the non financial application of blockchain then okay. they asked about uh, questions such as your uh, uh, which uh, how how do how is the president of india elected and you have to give a detailed answer like how how much percentage 
contribution do the states have towards president elections so those mm-hmm. questions like i i was not expecting and they asked me but anyway i answered like how much ever i could so that okay. was little strange interview and talking about i am bangalore so how did that interview go were you yeah. happy when you came out of the uh, board board room yes 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 so mine was an online interview actually i didn't have to go to campus it happened online so they they mainly asked me like first 10 minutes they asked me about my work so mm-hmm. that i was like completely prepared because mentally i used to ask myself such questions few days before the interview i started mentally prepare, preparing about what they can ask about my work so right. it was mainly company specific i am a software developer so they couldn't ask me development questions but they just asked mm-hmm. some general overview of the company to see if mm-hmm. i have enough knowledge so those questions went very well so the start was good and mm-hmm. then like uh, luckily the interviewer again asked me about blockchain but this time i knew like <laughs> i had studied about blockchain mm-hmm. and uh, and i am lucknow and bangalore interview was on the same day for me so <laughs> i was yeah i was this time i was ready <laughs> so mm-hmm. i answered every everything whatever they wanted to hear i answered and then okay. like some questions regarding product management because i mentioned that i wanted to do product management Mm-hmm. that was my interest and like uh, some questions regarding that so they asked me some questions regarding fevicol like uh, pedilite company so mm-hmm. i i was very lucky because i had seen some youtube video of pedilite few days back and like how their marketing campaign like saved like uh, increased their business so so from there yeah those mainly those questions three areas they touched upon and i felt like it went very well so it was i was in complete control okay nice nice so uh, one last question uh, what will you advise to the current students who are preparing for cat 22 how should they prepare cat first and then obviously interview what would you be your advice so my advice is that if you are really interested in writing cat like you need to start early very early actually Mm-hmm. Six, seven, five, five to six months is an ideal time for preparation. Doesn't matter you are from which branch of study. Six months right. is more than enough. But if you start earlier, you get a little bit of a head start. And uh, secondly, is that like don't hedge all your bets on CAT only because it's it's a difficult exam. Like you have multiple uh, two lakh students writing the same exam, and it's not always likely that you will clear it in first attempt. My case, I took three times. So. think about other options backup plans also keep those things in mind third would be like you can go through your analysis of mocks mocks are very important 20 to 25 mocks before cat it's a must and uh, once you write the mocks spend some sufficient time analyzing those mocks so mm-hmm. those things will definitely help you and like keep your obj- like uh, you need to be a little realistic in whatever you do like uh, keep your academic background and all those things just ask people whether like is this sufficient to actually like get the best calls because i have seen people with 99.9 also sometimes not get a call so it's important to be like realistic as well right right and for interview what should they do interview is like once you are done clearing cat there is like uh, when you clear the cat exam and get a call for the interview you are in the same level as everyone else so it doesn't matter what your past performance in life was it doesn't matter at all it just matters like what you do on that interview date if you ace the interview you will get in like there is no one who can stop you from getting in so for that like uh, you need to like start it's better if you like clear your like you need to realize like why you are doing mba so mm-hmm. that is one answer that you need to have in mind and if you don't have an answer it's better if you start preparing or searching for one right now and after that like uh, you you need to know decent amount of current affairs basic knowledge about what's happening around you and like some some terminology such as gdp gnp the interest rates some basic numbers what is the repo rate reverse repo rate these things are basic knowledge so you need to know these then you also need to go through your subjects because your academics will be will, they, will be a best judge of yourself and your past so those things right. you need to like re- most most focus has to be done on academics doesn't matter about other thing but academics is the most important for any interview right right 
so thank you dipayan dipayan thank you for uh, sharing your uh, experiences with uh, the students and uh, and we wish you all the best in am bangalore we are very sure you will uh, do well there and feel free to reach out to us in case you have need any help from our side okay thank you thank you sir thanks again okay, okay.